picture, yes. Okay, we are here today to present uh, Nuancier. Nuancier is a uh, development of the uh, Fedora community, uh, especially uh, we did it together with the uh, Fedora design team and the Fedora infrastructure team. Me is the part for the Fedora design team and I brought the colleague who actually did the work from the infrastructure team. So what is Nuancier? Uh, first, some things uh, before. Uh, how we see uh, things is simple. Uh, what we need to do free software is simple contributors. So, and what we have to do is our users to uh, convert them into contributors, which means uh, get them out for just using our software and do something. And So everything uh, we do in Fedora is open, so you can actually very easily contribute to our design. And one of the low-hanging fruits we have in Fedora is simple the supplemental wallpaper. We have um, for each release, we release normally each six months, uh, we have a whole design for the uh, release and we have a package with extra wallpapers, they are contributed from the community. I think each other distribution does that too. I know uh, Ubuntu is doing that, Magea is doing that, I don't know, there are some from the Debian design team there uh, in the audience, uh, I don't know if Debian does it. Uh, yeah, they all do it, uh, Zuse wants to do it always, but they never get it out. Um, and it, it's a little bit problematic. Uh, Ubuntu is doing it with Flickr, Magea is doing it with Flickr, and we don't like to do it this way because we don't like to uh, uh, use somebody else's uh, platform to, uh, which makes us dependent. So we did all the time uh, use our wiki to collect uh, wallpapers, and that uh, simply said that sucks because. Uh, MediaWiki has an, uh, not an upload uh, limit, uh, it has a limit to, to create thumbnails and if you want to collect uh, wallpaper you need the little thumbnails, e.g. and that cre creates a whole mess. And then the second thing is we wanted to do it more open as we had it before. So as we had it in the wiki, uh, I collected the supplemental wallpaper and the design team did vote. And then we wanted to do it more open, so we used our voting system from Fedora to actually make it possible that every Fedora contributor can vote on the supplemental wallpaper. And uh, that was done by hand from a colleague from Tokyo. And that's a hard work if you have to add 120 possibilities of, for voting. That's not so nice to do in, in this voting system. And then I came up and said, oh, uh, guys, we have to do something. And that happened last year in August at FLOG. That's a Fedora conference uh, where, the conf uh, where the Fedora contributors come together. And we had a little small breakfast and it was everybody cried yes to my idea. And uh, two weeks later, we had the first version running. And for Fedora 20, we actually could use uh, uh, for the vote, and now I give over to Pingu, and he shows you Nuancia a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to move back uh, from what uh, Sirko just said, and simply show you how it looked before. So this is basically the wiki page where you add all the signals for all the image, and this is all like the voting page was looking like. So you had a list of Fedora maps, each of them had a small uh, info and you could click on it and basically you would end up with the page which just shows you the picture. And eventually it was either directly the picture like this or you were going onto the wiki page. So this is, you know, when you have 120 links to click for every picture to remember and then order to get the 16 that you like the most. 
it's a bit of a tedious task. <laughs> so this is how it looks nowadays. Uh, it has its specific application. We have the front page where we actually display the, la the winner from the last elections. And then you can see eventually if there is a link with where you can vote and eventually if there are elections to which you can already contribute. So I'm going to walk you through. We first want to contribute uh, your wallpaper, so there are a number of rules that you have to check. Uh, they have a number of, of course, you only allow uh, some specific licenses, well, open source licenses. Uh, there are minimal requirements uh, from a technical point of view, so the picture has to be at least 1600 pixels wide and 1200 pixels high. And, but then once you've read through all of this, you can basically click on the contribute and upload your picture. You just provide the title. You can upload someone else's picture. So eventually you want to provide who is the original author of the artwork. Then if it's someone else, then you actually want to link so that we actually know who it's coming from. Then you can just upload your picture and select the license. Once this is, is, this is done, the admin will just go through it. It will review the submissions. So here we have two, uh, two submissions which are actually presented last year. You can see that the submitter is Pingo, so that would be me, and you can see that the author is someone else. So in this case, the original author. And then the admin can just approve or deny. Once this is done, then the submission period stops, and then the election happens. So this is what these tables uh, displays. We have and uh, there is one change which is going to happen that's going to look like this one. So you have the submission period which is open here, votes, and, and the results are not published. Then you can have this one, the submission period is finished, but then the vote is open, and finally the vote is finished, so the, the results are published. And when you want to see how it looks for voting, so this is the interface that Ryan Lurch, sitting on the back over there, has designed. So instead of having a list of links where you have to go through, you typically have the, the nice pictures. You can see them enhanced. So we have the light box basically integration. So you see them a bit bigger, and you have a better idea of how they will look on your screen. And you can just simply click on it, click on them, and one and two. And then once you've reached the limit, it directly says you well this is the limits which you've reached. You can remove one. You can actually come back to the election. So you have. 16 wall, you can uh, choose up to 16 wallpapers. So if you if you have no time, you say, well, I just want 10, and then I have to go, so I just press vote. And then thank you for voting, and then I can actually come back. And then instead of having to vote on, on 16 still, since I already voted on some, then I only get the leftovers. So you can actually come back and vote in several time. But you can't change what you voted before. That's the only thing. And then once the time, the time is over, then you actually get the results. So the results are simply a list of all the, the candidates and the number of votes which they had. Uh, we are going to add the authors and the license for each the artwork on this, on this page as well. And there was a bit of a discussion in the design list on uh, how many, so we want 16 wallpapers, but do we want the user to vote on all 16, or do we want them to vote on you know 10, and then we, st we still keep the top 16? So what we did is that for the elections, and I'm going to look at the real result, we actually did some statistics. So we have uh, out of 16, uh, you could have 16. Each person could vote on 16 on 16 wallpapers. We had in, in total almost uh, 1,550. Well, exactly 1,553 votes coming from 128 person, and this is the distribution. So we can see that out of 128 people, 67 voted on all 16 wallpapers. So that's actually solved, in our case, the question. But as you can see, it's a much nicer interface. You can, up you can upload your artwork, the admin can review it to make sure it's valid, and then you can vote and nicely see the result from it. Yeah, and the best thing is, uh, it's free software, so our project can use it too. And what the part of what what uh, does for us the account system, Fedora account system, is just a uh, plugging solution, so other projects can use easily to and uh, rewrite just a little bit and can have uh, open workings like we have. Thank you very much. <laughs>